Madden 16 fans, welcome back to another Madden 16 tip, guys. Tonight is the GameStop Midnight Release Tournament. I am in preparation for that right now. And I wanted to bring to you guys my full defense that I will be running tonight in the GameStop Tournament. I believe that this defense will work in Madden 16. It may not work as effectively, but I do believe that it will work nonetheless. I believe that it is a good football concept-based defense, and I cannot wait to show it to you. Okay, guys, so what the first thing we want to do is we want to pick our player playbook and the playbook that we're going to be utilizing for this uh, defense is we're going to be utilizing the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars defensive book okay now the Jacksonville Jaguars defensive book is a nice book because it has the 46 normal uh, a really nice formation that we can use as, as a complementary to our other plays it also has the dollar three two six some good blitzes out of there but the main four three formation we're going to be utilizing is the four three wide nine now this formation is really effective in my opinion what I like to do is I like to put my stronger uh, pass rushers on the outside of the defensive line and then my stronger more bulky guys on the inside of the defensive line but the cool part about this defense especially the way it works in Madden 15 and I hope for the way it works in Madden 16 is that we can get some gap pressure and so what we want to look for in our defensive ends is we want to look for good linebackers that have uh, decent pass rushing abilities and so uh, guys that fit that mold uh, for the Cowboys are none other than Demarcus Lawrence and then uh, Anthony Spencer does a really nice job for us what I like to do with Jeremy Mincy is actually place him at the defensive tackle position uh, and then take Tyrone Crawford and, and use him as kind of a flex player if I ever need to bring him in I will but I really like Anthony Spencer on that side uh, and then for the new game I'll actually be using uh, their new uh, defensive end that they drafted. I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now, uh, but uh, that's who I will be using. Um, for my linebackers, what I like to do is I like to use all of my middle linebackers as standard linebackers. And so see here, if I really wanted to, I could put Anthony Hitches down here, uh, but he's not as good of a pass rusher as Anthony Spencer is. And, and in my opinion, Tyron Crawford isn't either. Uh, and so that's why I really went with the way I did it here. Um, the middle linebacker, this is going to be your user defender, so I'm actually going to sub in Bruce Carter at the middle linebacker as opposed to Sean Lee. Let Sean Lee be a stud and let him do his thing and same with Rolando McClain. The corners on the outside, what I like to look for is good zone covering corners. Um, if they, the better they tackle, uh, the better that your defense will be. And so I like to use Brandon Carr. Uh, for right now, I'm going to use Skandrick because he is an 88 overall corner, but I really will probably be using Mo Claiborne uh, or Byron Adams uh, and then in the uh, Madden 16. Uh, and then for the safeties, we want to get hitters in here. J.J. Wilcox and Barry Church, in my opinion, are really underrated uh, as safeties in this year's game. And I really love this 4-3 wide nine defense uh, for the Dallas Cowboys. All right, so that's a little bit about the defense. And, and first I want to show you here our base defense. And, and, and this is kind of the pressure that we're going to apply. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go over the cover two invert. And it's a base play. It's a base pass rush. And it's a play that we're going to be utilizing to uh, get into the head of our opponent early and often. All right, so the face, basic setup for the 4-3 wide nine, what I want to go over today is I want to show you how to use this defense as a unit and uh, what you want to do is every single time you set up a play these are the steps that I want you to do you want to come out you want to base a line you want to pinch your defensive line you want to crash them to the middle of the line of scrimmage as you see here and then you want to spread your linebackers from this point then we will make our adjustments to our plays but this is the basic look that we want to give our opponent every single time the only other adjustment we have to make to the cover to invert outside of the basic adjustments we already made is we want to hit that left trigger and R1 to make a quarterback contain. This is a really good defense in terms of it gives you a nice generic basic pass rush of a four down line and it's very difficult to move the ball and as you see here no one really open against this coverage uh, and a really nice play. Now the, the real money maker uh, with this is this, there's potential to get some gap pressure um, and, and, and the gap pressure will sometimes come in. It won't always come in, but sometimes it will. As you see there, we got that little gap pressure. Got a nice heavy pass rush up the middle. The ends are going to contain. This is a really, really effective base defense. And the reason being is because you have good coverage, good containment. This is something that we're going to be able to do to disrupt our opponent's flow and to kind of sit back and let them kind of do what they want. As you see, the base rush is going to get a nice middle pass rush for us, and we're going to try to get a block shed and get a sack while still maintaining coverage principles on the outside. More often than not, what I'll also do with this play is I will uh, do the uh, under over-the-top coverage. I want to kind of stay over the top here and uh, kind of make plays and, and really prevent myself from getting beat deep. And so this is what that's all about. Um, and then one other adjustment I believe I'll probably be making in Madden 16 is I'll go ahead and press as well.
And the reason I'll press is to attempt to stop those face throws and those aggressive catches. Uh, but as you see here, this is just a nice basic play. Uh, now let me show you real quickly. Uh, I do want to show you how our base play fares uh, against some of the better runs in the game. Now the base play fair is fairly decent in my opinion against some of the better runs uh, in this season's game and we have a couple of plays we're going to be utilizing uh, to help stop uh, you know your your everyday runs but what I want to do here is I just want to show you a, a basic run the single back ace it's, it's something that we you know we see every year the halfback zone the the kind of the standard of runs uh, if you will this is kind of a basic run that shows you how to run inside and outside and all you know all around the component so here it is base line and we're just going to do the same setup pinch line crash down spread linebackers Every single time, that's how we set our plays up. And then we want a quarterback contain rush. Now, uh, for wide run defense, you want a pass commit. For inside run defense, you don't want a pass commit. But here what you're going to see is he's going to get that ball off tackle, and we're going to keep a nice containment, kind of keep it, hold it down to three to four yards, uh, and you'll see that it, you know occasionally we'll get a block shed and, and kind of come in and, and, and really stop the run. This is, in my opinion, the best run stopping formation in the game. Okay, and then uh, left side, and here you see it. Uh, that time we passed him in, and so our guys kind of faded away a little bit. Let me try to show you this. Let me try to show you this one more time here. Let me try something here just to see how it works. Uh, and and of course I'm using the middle linebacker, but it's hard to use for both controllers. So I'll be in the mix with the user player. Uh, but here you see the inside lanes are opened up if you pass commit. Um, and so, but so that's why I don't typically pass commit if they're going to potentially be running inside. Uh, but if they aren't running inside, then I I you know I do tend to do tend to go ahead and pass commit here but here you see I mean this this is a, a run that's pretty effective and this is just our base play it's kinda of to come out get a flow get a feel for our opponent if we leave it as is you see that their safeties are gonna come down the box and it then it makes it really difficult to run against and so that's kinda of the premise of the whole defense here what you're seeing right now uh, is this pinch line though I really do believe that it does a does wonders for your defense and I, I really really try to emphasize to take advantage of that uh, that spread line technique uh, or excuse me pinch line technique but that's the four three wide nine that's our first play guys make sure you come back for our next video it will be coming up shortly and uh, it's going to have the four three wide nine defensive uh, blitzing scheme one of our blitzes we're going to break down 